All right, boys, so we had this on the dyno last week. We run it off just over 700 horsepower on 62 pounds. And although we finished the run, you're probably wondering why we pulled the engine out. And we had some dramas, we have hurt the engine a little bit. So we pulled the engine out, we're gonna pull it down and we're gonna explain what's going on. For anyone else wondering, this is a G3770 and it has a 0.86 rear on it. Anyone that is new to the channel, this is a 4 EFE engine from the Toyota Starlet. It's a 1.3 litre, comes out making about 50 horsepower at the wheels. We started modifying these from the ground up, had problems with the stock rods coming out so we'd go and upgrade the rods and pistons and we had problems with the head lifting so we went ahead and put the 10 mil ARP spuds in there which anyone that's played with these knows there's a bit of machining involved in the block and the head. Once we had that sorted, we're trying to work out correct turbo sizing. We found that going to a larger rehousing turbo not only made more power in the top end, but the air temps, we were seeing at the intake manifold was actually dropping. Usually it was 60 or 70 degrees, but when we went to the G3770, the air temps come right down to about 40 degrees. Even with putting the G57 on there, the air temps at the intake manifold are still 40 degrees at 62 pounds of boost. I can't say I've seen another compound turbo setup in the world that's only running one intercooler. So it just goes to show the importance of putting a large rehousing or, or at least the correct rehousing on there. Um, it's gonna make the engine a lot, uh, lot healthier and happier. Once we'd figured all that out, we then had problems with the main cap's breaking, which resulted in the crank getting broken in half. We contacted Billet Speedworks over in America and they put, this, put together a set of main caps for us. Put those in the block, got all the machine work done and it's still holding together pretty good now. We also abandoned the stock harmonic balancer and we went with a Ross uh, performance dampener. They've also got lots of different dampeners for all makes and models, you should check them out. All right, here we go. Oh. This is a brand new head gasket. We only ran it just for that day. You can see all the black paint's come off. Cylinder number two's let go. Let's push the coolant out of the gallery there. And in between the cylinders, you can see it's taken the paint off. Tops of the pistons look pretty good still. No melting marks. Also in our earlier engines, we kept having problems with its spinning bearings. Again, going with the larger rehousings, reduced the air temperatures, getting more exhaust flow, stop the detonation. We seem to solve the bearing issues. And this was also around like 200 horsepower, so you'd think at 700 plus, these bearings should be trashed, so this is going to be interesting. Okay, there's a, all right, there's already bearing material, bearing material in there. That's good, that's all right. This definitely will not stop us from slapping a new set in there and going again. Here you can see the billet main caps. No idea what they're made out of, but they seem to do the trick. These rods, they're just $400 rods off eBay. I'm actually interested to know if they bent or if anything's gone wrong with them. All right, bearing number one. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just making some kanga. Yeah. 
these are just your basic Wisco pistons. We had some problems with the older style ones they, they used to have where the skirts were cracking underneath here. But their, their new design now has nice thick skirts. And they're cracked again. <laughs> Okay, I'll do some close-ups of that, but they are cracked again. So I want to bring up the head gasket and show you again. We've got cylinders one, two, three, and four. Cylinder two, the paint's lifted. Bearings one, three, and four are still in pretty good nick. Cylinder two, that's had the highest cylinder pressure or detonation. Let's trash the bearing. I think if we kept driving this, um, yeah, it would have done even more damage. So this isn't too bad, we can rebuild. We'll put another set of bearings in there. We've got a different style of head gasket to put in. We've got some 12 mil head studs to hold the head down a bit tighter. And we've got a special surprise for the cylinder head. Another big reason we called it quits and didn't want to push any further. We're still running the stock cylinder head and the stock valves that probably have about 250,000 Ks on there. So it was only a matter of time before it dropped the valve and trashed the whole engine. We did have a go at some exhaust porting in the past, but it's still not that good. So we've gone and got another cylinder head. Got a whole bunch of CNC porting done. Brilliant valve guides, one mil oversized Ferrero valves. So we're going to put this together in the next episode. Put the whole thing back together and we're going for 800. Let's go.